Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine, and it's morning tea with me, and I'm doing it different. I have another meeting. I just got back from boot camp with Erica, so I'm all sparkly and sweaty, but I'm heading to another meeting, and they don't judge that I'm sweaty because I'm going to sit far, far away and just listen and contribute, but I wanted to jump on real quick and uh, make my morning smoothie with you. So. I, I literally go around my house and gather all the good things and I put them in one container and it, it somehow always ends up tasting really good. But I always start with bananas. So I've probably got one and a half frozen bananas here. And then I've got some ground oats. I like the ones that have been cut twice. So they're not like too big because then it gets stuck in my teeth. And nobody's got time for that. So I usually just scoop in and Dump in, I don't know, two scoops. Put that aside. Um, today I've grabbed peaches. I literally grab whatever I have in my freezer. <clears throat> There's always bananas, so I usually go over to the seconds section at Brown's and buy whatever bananas they have. The gnarlier, the better. Dots and all, and I just put them right in a bag right away as soon as I get home and um, freeze them. I break them in with my fingers into halves or thirds. Um, I'm at the bottom of my Your Superfoods Forever Beautiful. This one has chia seeds in it, and then once the liquid hits it, they kind of like explode or plump up, and so they end up getting stuck in my teeth, which I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of chia, although it has crazy health benefits, so I only have like a tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon in here, so I'm just going to dump that in here. And then I've got matcha. So matcha is an anti-inflammatory and all over like good healthy, good for you thing. I don't like it plain, like a lot of, my daughter likes it, drinking it like matcha tea. I feel like it tastes like grass. And you can see it's like bright green. I add it to Tim's um, green juice that I make for him in the morning, which is like celery, parsley, um, celery, parsley, apple, lemon, um, and kale. Because he has some issues with, ant with ant infl inflammation in his feet. So that really helps. I've noticed when I when I lax and I don't do it, um, he starts to get inflamed again. So I try and be diligent with that. So matcha is good. And if you put it with some bananas and some spinach, you won't even know it's in there. Speaking of spinach, I've got the last little dregs of some spinach that I got from Giant. So I'm just gonna grab a big handful, like that Toy Story claw. Plop that in there. There's nothing fancy about it. You just do it. And then I've got walnuts. I always try and put walnuts in there. I usually find these in like the cooking section. I know Aldi's has them already chopped. I'm going to put it in the blender so it doesn't matter if it's chopped or not. But I usually put like maybe two or three walnuts in there because it's brain food. I remember in college I took a nutrition class. And one of the only things I remember about that class, so sorry, not sorry, is that um, there's something in walnuts that crosses the um, blood-brain barrier. So apparently you've got this protective um, bag around your brain and walnuts and I think broccoli are the two things that, and probably more, that cross over and actually give nourishment to the brain. So, which is probably why it's shaped like a brain. If you ever look at a walnut mm -hmm. and broccoli, gives you a hint of what it's good for. And then I add um, flax seeds. I always get the ground ones because um, they don't get stuck in my teeth like the chia seeds do. And then I also add it to like banana breads and things like that. It hidden, kids don't know it's in there. So I've got everything, oh, apple. I had an apple from this morning, so I'm just gonna break it and put that in here. This one's too big. Chop it up real quick. Charlie will probably hear me chopping an apple and want to come over. Oh, he's sleeping. All right, do I have everything here? Oh, coconut oil. I had a little, I'm telling you, it's everything but the kitchen sink. I love this coconut oil because it smells like coconut. I found it at Aldi's Simply Nature Organic Coconut Oil. It smells like a Samoa, a Girl Scout cookie. So I just scratch, I don't know, that much. And just plop it in my smoothie. And I always have some extra on the spoon. So I, I'm a weirdo. I usually just put it on the back of my hand because it always gets like those sunspots from aging. I don't want to waste any of the coconut oil. 
then I'll be like this all day. And then the last thing I add is um, almond milk. So I just get it already made. I've tried to do almond milk, uh, making it myself. It's possible. I just don't have time for that. So I, I do it already done. And then I'm just gonna, I have a little Nutribullet thing that I, it's really dirty, sorry that I showed that. But I use it every day, sometimes twice a day. And then I just blend it up and drink it up. So let me do that real quick. If sometimes if I have too much frozen stuff in there, I need to add more milk or water. Sometimes I use iced coffee. Today I'm using um, almond milk. And sometimes if I don't have enough almond milk, I add a little bit of water. So here you go, sorry for the noise. <laughs> frozen so it took a little extra time but it's like a big mud colored milkshake I don't want to waste any of it in the lid but this is what it looks like mud like my hat kind of but I promise it won't taste like that sometimes I put cacao powder because it's just fun to say cacao it's chocolate um, sometimes I, I shift out the peaches and I just do um, chocolate and bananas and then all the other healthy things just kind of add to the healthy nature of it um, like I said sometimes I put in iced coffee so if I have a hankering for coffee and I don't drink it all I put it in the fridge um, black coffee not the leftover kind from Starbucks that has all those mm, fake flavors and things like that that's probably not gonna be good in a healthy shake um, I've put tea in there sometimes, that's fine too. If I have leftover green juice from Tim in the morning because he only drinks a certain size too much, he's like, no, it's too much. Um, sometimes I'll throw that in there too. So literally it's a kitchen sink. I go around and just put everything that I have healthy into it and then I drink it down. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So now I'm gonna put it into, I always have a big old mason jar here. This one I got from Magnolia. It's just a mason jar with a hole in the top. I mean, it's nothing fancy. So you can get these lids from Walmart with a hole, and then you can get a fancy straw. I always have my stuff super close. Organize your kitchen so that it makes sense for you. So I have this fancy straw, and I put my shake in here and drink it for this morning. And then later I'll probably have a salad, or maybe a PB and J. I don't know. But I've got to run because I've got to get to my my meeting. I just wanted to jump over real quick, make my morning smoothie with you. If you missed it. Or if you jumped in halfway through, just wait a minute and then go back to my Instagram page and hit that little circle up at the top and you can watch it from the beginning. So hopefully I've inspired you to not complicate things, dump it all in and drink it on down. Get yourself healthy. Your cells will be happy for it. So know that whatever you're doing today, I'm sending you much love and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Love you much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.